Todd. Uh, we do see the sheriff here on scene. Um, the sheriff, are, could we uh, talk to you? Actually, the sheriff is right here right now, uh, Sheriff Ed Gonzalez. Um, hi, Sheriff. Thanks so much for joining us. Um, uh, you know, uh, very sad to hear about what happened. One of the questions that was just asked uh, was about specifically what happened, and it is the van, I believe he was in a van, is that is that correct? Is that van still out here? Uh, yeah, that's my understanding. Uh, the preliminary inf information we have is that the van was traveling uh, westbound towards uh, Bush Airport. As it approached the underpass, uh, they could see that the water line was around seven or eight feet maybe, uh, and the vehicle continued to go forward. It did come to a pause. And uh, according to witnesses, for some unknown reason, he just punched it and tried to drive through it some more, which didn't make sense. They did try to go in water to see if they could pull him out to no, uh, to no avail. Uh, at that time, one of our units happened to be going by the area and got out and tried to assist with the rescue. Uh, at this point, uh, we're, we've got apparatus out here, but the, water, the, the boat is submerged. We're hoping for the water to recede a little bit to make the operation a bit more, uh, more easier. We haven't seen any signs of life, so it doesn't mean that anybody was with him, uh, but, uh, but, you know, we, we're not sure. So we're still going to double check. There's no signs of life. Uh, he was pronounced deceased. We're told he's a Hispanic male between 40 to 50 years of, years of age. So our condolences to any family members uh, that he may have. And, and so um, I see they just fired up the airboat. What are they doing right now, Sheriff? Uh, they're continuing uh, just to coordinate uh, any, uh, you know, check the entire bottom of it. We also have some divers out here. Uh, so we're going to be out here for a little bit, and I came to check on my guys as well. It's very traumatic. You know, we've been uh, going call to call all day, nonstop. We still have some active water rescues going on. So it's been quite the day for us, very Harvey-like. Uh, you know, but we're going to get out here and get the job done. We hate to have lost anybody, though. Very tragic and so grateful for everything that you guys and your crews have done today. Um, and, and just to reiterate, you know, that vehicle, you have not been able to access it because it's not in our view right now. Right? Yeah, it's my understanding it's completely submerged at this point, and uh, they're checking around the area. There Again, there's no sign of life. Uh, you know, anything to, to indicate that there's still somebody in there. But, of course, uh, similar to him being, uh, you know, what we believe that he drowned in his vehicle, it could be the same for others in there. We don't know if he was alive. And being out here and having seen what you've seen all day long, is there anything that you would want to let the public know? Well, uh, tell the folks exactly the same thing. It's just to be very careful. We're getting calls of other people that are... Uh, trapped inside their vehicles. I know we have a lot of commuters probably trying to get home now, trying to find routes. Be careful, especially with darkness, because uh, some streets may look like they're passable, and I've seen firsthand that they're not. Uh, we've seen vehicles stranded, and other than the hardship, you know, uh, you know, you could also be, you know, uh, uh, loss of life. Do so. you know about how many rescues you have been? ambulance driving by there. Uh, do you know how many rescues you performed? Uh, I was told that uh, the fire department, the Houston fire department, for example, had upwards of a thousand. We've been uh, over the 800 mark, but that doesn't include only rescues. They may be uh, rescues inside homes and vehicles, accidents, anything water related. We were at approximately 800. Quite a few of the water rescues have been happening continuously while I've been uh, out here and we've been going from one to another and, and to another and successfully have gotten and rescued hundreds of people, I think, from stranded uh, vehicles and, and homes as well. And you mentioned Harvey. I mean, how? what did you learn from Harvey? How did that prepare uh, your team for Harvey? Yeah, well, we had uh, more uh, rescue vehicles, de vehicles deployed all throughout the county. As we saw, some of the areas that were more harder hit, we redeployed them a little bit closer with these. The storms are always unpredictable. Uh, so I thought we fared well, all things considered. You know, uh, you know, we were doing good until obviously this happened, what sometimes is out of control. We always told folks, turn around, don't drown. In this case, it seems like he didn't heed that warning and continue to drive through it, according to witnesses. Uh, but, you know, it seems like uh, very Harvey-like because I remember that day it was just raining nonstop. And it's been like, I've been out here all day and it's been raining pretty much nonstop until right now that it'll up a little bit. Glad to see it.